epimetrium and epimetrium. epimetrium. In the fallopian tubes is where the egg is fertilized. The egg is usually fertilized here, and then all of these cells right here have cilia on them, and they move the eggs towards right here until it implants in the uterus. Right here in the ovaries is where the eggs develop. This is a test question on that, practical exam. Where the eggs develop, one egg is released each month, and then it's picked up by these structures that are called fimbri. And those fimbri move, and they create a wave. Remember that this is the peritoneal cavity out here. They create a wave that sucks the egg into this space. And then if the female has had sexual intercourse and there's sperm in there, the sperm swim up through here. They make their way all the way through the fallopian tubes, and this is where the fertilization occurs. When you have an ectopic pregnancy, it means that the embryo has implanted. It moves down and implants here. Uh, but when you have an ectopic pregnancy, it means that it's... Um, has implanted either here in the fallopian tube, or sometimes it can even for, uh, implant outside of the fallopian tube. And obviously, there's not enough of the endometrium built up, enough tissue built up on the inside of here, and that's why the, the baby cannot survive outside if it has an implant here in the uterus. So this is from an anterior view. If we take a